everyone to my second knitting vlog. I have been putting filming the intro for this video off a while. I don't know why, it doesn't make sense. I'm very excited about this knitting vlog because I'm hoping in it I can finish my first garment, my first knitted garment apart from a scarf and it is this sleeveless jumper. I feel like the reason I've kept putting this video off is because it's taken me so long to get to this point. I had to restart this four or five times. I kept getting like up to about here and then realizing I'd made a mistake and then I would have to pull it all apart and start again. So yeah, this is my fifth attempt and it is finally going well. If you didn't watch my first knitting vlog, um, I'm gonna link that down below, but basically in that video I learned how to purl, how to stitch, how to cast on, how to cast off, and I made my first ever scarf. And then at the end of that vlog I showed you guys what I wanted to make next, and one of those things was a sleeveless jumper. So I purchased the pattern from a website called Love Craft whoop, from a knitwear designer called Vicky Knits. I absolutely recommend her patterns. I absolutely recommend her Instagram account if you're just kind of new to getting started because her patterns are super easy to read. She does like a video YouTube tutorial to go alongside it so you can really see. If you're more of a visual person, like you can actually see what to do and learn kind of along with the YouTube video as well as the pattern, which also if you're starting out, I really recommend printing so you can kind of mark it and make notes as I have. I am just so excited to have cracked on with this jumper and I'm actually at a point now where I don't know if you can see but I started like doing the sleeves like I learned how to decrease a knit, a knit stitch and my sleeves are starting to kind of appear so this is the front panel of my sweater and then I think I do it right up to the top and then I start on the back and then I seam it all together and then complete the arm holes and the neckline. And it's just now that I'm into it, now that I'm kind of learning new things again, I'm just so into my knitting and it's all I want to do all day every day. I just want to sit down and knit, which sadly isn't doable every day. But I'm using a wool called the Phil Feeling Good Yarn. It's a chunky yarn from Will and the Gang in the shade red ochre which is, is such a nice kind of like mulberry red wine and a berry shade which i think is so pretty and so soft like i can't get over how soft this is i can't wait to wear this jumper it's gonna be so lovely the bit that took me so long was this long hem in a, a one by one rib knit and i mean i'm gonna have to hold it here like this any of you knitters will know it's just like a pearl one knit one pearl one knit one and it just gives the most beautiful kind of stretchy ribbed kind of pattern which is yeah been a right ball ache to kind of do because you really have to pay attention to what stitch you're on <laughs> You can't make any mistake. I've learned a couple of really cool tips to make it easier for myself, which made the last like half of that go really quickly. And now I'm just on a stockinette stitch with decreases for the armholes. So, 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 so excited. So in this vlog, I'm going to be completing this sweater vest. I'm going to need to learn how to like sew a vest together, sew pieces together. And I'm going to need to learn how to like do arm holes and like a neckline, which I'm excited to learn. It's just I'm just very very happy and I am also so happy to have inspired so many of you guys to start knitting. I've had so many DMs on Instagram from you guys saying um, I've inspired you and that you've ordered your materials and I really hope you enjoy it, I really hope you don't beat yourself up too much if you don't get it initially. Like at the end of the day it's something really fun and crafty to do to be able to create something with your own hands from scratch and to be able to wear it then after. You're not supposed to be a genius at something immediately so if it if it does take you a very long time to get into don't get disheartened by that the rewards will pay off morning guys my friend is coming around tonight for a oh my god we are so cute my friend anna we're having a knitting club at my house i'm gonna cook her some dinner i'm gonna knit and we were originally going to go to a knit club in Walthamstow this evening on a Friday night. But because I'm having micro needling done, I just realised I'm not going to want to go out <laughs> looking like a red tomato. Especially in a room full of new people. Yeah, she is coming around this evening for a knitting club. She's going to be knitting a balaclava and I'm going to be doing some more of my jumper. Which, by the way, is looking so good now. It's like, oh my god, it's like a proper jumper, guys. It's got armholes. There... 
and there and now I'm just working up to the neckline. I'm not quite sure how low this will be. It's quite long already maybe. Yeah, that's quite a nice length. So I think I've just got like five more rows to do for the up here and then I can start doing the neckline. I have no idea how to do a neckline. So I am a little bit anxious about that, but so excited. So I'm gonna continue that on our knitting club this evening. You guys, I'm vlogging on my phone because my camera's upstairs and I'm just too excited to say that I've sewn my seams in. I've sewn my freaking seams in, which means technically I can kind of you, wear this. You got a tabard. I got a tabard. Oh no, is it on? Is the neck hole too big? You got a woolen tabard. I've got a neck hole tabard. Oh, my freaking. God, guys, I've nearly made a jumper. How cool is that? I'm so proud of you, David. <laughs> I got a tabard. Look at me. Look at my tabard. Guys, I've got five stitches left. Five stitches left to cast off and I have completed my jumper. I'm very aware that I haven't updated you much at all um, towards the end of this process and that is because I've just, oh God, look, see, I keep dropping this cast off stitch. I've just been like going ham on it very quickly to try and finish it in time for this weekend because I really wanna wear my knit out on Friday night. I am going to the opera with my parents-in-law, my family, and um, we actually purchased a knit kit for um, my mother-in-law, G's mum, because she used to knit and she used to crochet and she hadn't done it in a really long time, so we thought for her birthday we'd just get her a kit. And she, no joke, knit up a scarf in like a day. Um, and since then she has, why is my face not in focus? Is it cause? There's a ghost in the background. Since then, she's purchased a kit for a waistcoat. And honestly, it looked like she's done about a quarter of it in, a, in an afternoon. So now I'm like, I have a feeling she's going to be wearing her new waistcoat this weekend. And I really want to wear my sweat this weekend as well. So that's why I've been rushing to finish this. So I did the back panel in like two days compared to the front panel, which took me about a month. Like once I like got the hand movements under control, I just ripped through the back. And then since then I've learned how to sew it together, pick up stitches, do a neckline, neckline? And then do the armholes. I'm literally about to finish. I'm so excited. After this, I'm gonna have to sew all the seams back in because there's a lot of seams around. And um, oh my God, this is my last stitch. And then steam it like block it which i'm not gonna have time to like properly block and rest but i am gonna steam with my steamer so let me just pull that why have i messed up my hand i actually pull that seam off there we go this is the last stitch now i need to go and get my scissors and cut it are we ready are we ready Ooh, Mic drop. What do you do then? I gotta sew it in, so I'm not technically finished yet. Oh my god, I made a jumper. Oh my god, oh my god. We're gonna try it on. It's not got a ball of wool attached to it. No, oh, dress. You're not in danger of unraveling if you haven't finished. Okay, I'll sew all the seams in and then I can try it on. Yeah, be patient. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> like, that's amazing. I can't believe you made that. Like, I feel like you could have bought this in a shop. I feel like the sleeves are a bit, they come out a bit long. I feel like it could have done with, maybe that's just my stitching. I realise I haven't yet shown you guys 
I realise I haven't yet shown you guys my finished jumper on properly. So I wanted to give you a look here. So I'm styling it here with a white t-shirt underneath and leggings. I would not wear leggings with this. I'd wear jeans. But I've also tried it with a shirt underneath and a dress. And it looks great like either way. But yeah, I am so happy with how this came out. I love, love, love the neckline, the ribbing, and I love the ribbing around the armholes as well. I also decided not to seam it together closed, but kept it open up until the kind of stockinette started, um, just because I kind of like that open jumper style. But I guess in the future I could always seam that together if I fancied a bit of a change. But yeah, I just love this jumper so much. I'm so happy with it. For my first knitted garment, I think I did such a great job. I really, as I said earlier in this vlog, I really recommend Vicky Knits's pattern for this. This is the April's vest. Her pattern was just so easy to follow. For a complete beginner like I was, so easy to understand. Yeah, I've got so much wear out of this already. I think I finished it about three weeks ago and I've worn her so many times. Put some pictures up here of how else I've styled it. Let me know what you think. Ignore the no makeup and dressing gown look. I'm having a chill day today, but I am so excited because I spent, I must have spent about three hours the other night um, choosing what patterns, like what I'm gonna make next basically. I don't know why it took me so long. I just spent ages going through the kind of saved patterns that I really liked on the website Ravelry. And I spent ages researching yarn and what material to use for each of them some of the wool recommended was super expensive so i spent ages looking at everyone else's projects that they'd made with the same patterns and researching what yarns they'd used anyway i purchased a couple of patterns and a couple of different yarn sets for those specific patterns i can definitely see how buying wool and yarn is getting it's just going to be so addictive but i'm trying to be really sensible with it by only buying yarn for the top for the projects that I am making so that I am not left with like cupboards of yarn but nothing really to make with them if that makes sense. Um, so I've just received one of my parcels from a website called Wool, what is it? Wool Warehouse. So I've got the yarn here for one project which is going to be a cardigan which I'm so excited about and then I've got um, fabric for another two patterns that I'm going to make in the future over the next couple of months coming from a website that begins with L. I don't even know what the website is called. Let me have a look. So the second website is called Lind Hobby. And when that parcel arrives, I'm hoping it might be today or tomorrow. When that parcel arrives, I'll show you what wool I've got for these specific patterns that I've purchased. But I really want to open this now because I don't know really what the colour of this cardigan is going to look like. I know that I ordered it in a sage green, but I haven't obviously seen what that colour looks like in real life. And I'm hoping I like it because I bought I had to buy a lot of yarn for this particular cardigan so let me show you I also purchased a couple of knitting needles I think one of them might be in this and then the others are in the other order I made Ooh. okay that's nice that is a nice color isn't it so it's the drops wish mix it's a super soft mix of baby alpaca pima cotton and merino wool it feels super soft and I am pretty sure I got it in the shade like sage green. Green but speckled with white. Like I can see quite a lot of white running through that. So I think that will look super pretty in a cardigan fabric. I have quite a few knitting apps on my phone and one of them is called Row My Row Counter and has an amazing tool called Yarn Ball Converter. And you basically type in the number of yarns required and the weight or meters or length of the ball required in the pattern. And then you can type in what what your ball contains. So for example, my pattern needed like I don't know, 800 yards, I'm making that up. Um, and then I just had to put that each ball of this contained 77 yards. So then it told me, basically converted it and told me how many balls of this I needed in order to make the pattern. I found that app really helpful and it is free as well. So yeah, that's all my wool. I'm really excited about the wool that is coming from my bumper because that's um, another drops fabric 
but in a cream, like a chunky cream shade. Can't get started on this cardigan until my chunky needles arrive from my other order. I'm really hoping that arrives today. I'm excited to show you the next couple of patterns that I'm gonna be making. Are you having a good old chat? Who are you talking to? Good boy. You guys, I am so excited. My wall order has arrived, my other wall order. If I sit back like this, can you see me? Okay, so this is my order from Linden Hobby, I think it's called. Um, it also, ignore the look again today. Saturday, I'm spending another day in my pajamas with no makeup on. Um, but it, this is so exciting because it now means I've got everything to start my next project which is the let's boogie cardigan by a honey but before we get into that let me show you what i've got this is a huge bag and that is because it's also got the wool for my jumper that i'm going to be knitting which is drops polaris in the shade one just like a white it looks like this i think that chunky jumper is just going to be so nice in this fabric and yeah feels very very soft so I'll tell you about that jumper that I'm going to be making as well. But wow, I think I bought every single last one of the <laughs> walls of this. And then I've also got in here, wow, that's such a nice colour. This is the Drops Kid Silk in, I think it's something like light beige. And I've got a very nice um, top that I'm going to be making with this. I think it's called a fluffy crop top. How nice is that? Do you like that colour? Interesting colour, isn't it? This is, I'm making a chunky jumper out of this. And then I've got my needles. Here are my needles. So these are all the ones that I need to cast on for my jumper and my cardigan. So I've got everything I need now for three projects, which is so exciting. It's going to be what I'm doing over the next, this vlog and vlogs in the future. Also, all of these needles are the circular needles from Drops as well. I just found this brand to be super affordable compared to some of the others, so I'm really excited about this. I also did toy with the idea of getting an interchangeable circular needle kit, but they were super expensive and I don't have the funds at the moment. Hi, Maurice, you want to see? But in the future, I will be probably investing in one of those because I think it's better generally for the environment to just not have so many different stuff and just have it all interchangeable you are super curious about this oh you found it what do you think of this yarn do you like it no okay then to talk through some of the patterns that I'm going to be making next in the next vlog. As you've seen I have started on a cardigan and that pattern is the Let's Boogie cardigan from A Honey. So far I've had to restart it like five times, four or five times just because I'm learning how to do a make one left and make one right increases along the kind of this area which I've never done before. Like I keep either ending up with it looking a bit it's not very neat or looks a bit messy or there's some holes in like between the stitches that are annoying me. One of the tries I ended up with an extra stitch somehow. I just got to take you downstairs and show you what it's looking like now. I was knitting in bed last night and I made a little bit of progress on it so I can show you. Here it is. So imagine that green cardi but in a slightly more muted green. So this is the Drops Wish in sage green and like I showed earlier in the vlog I really like this because it looks like it's got quite a lot of like colours running through it. It's just a very pretty colour. And I think I've just just also worked out, I've been me and my friends have been trying to like work out what our colour palette is this morning. And I think I am a true summer. And I think this colour might fit into that category, which is very handy. So yeah, these increases, I feel like I'm getting there a little bit better now. I mean, I'm such a perfectionist with this, which is so weird because I'm not a perfectionist in any other area of my life. But happy with how this is starting to look here with the increases coming off the side. So this is the back panel, this is for the sleeves, and this is for the front panel. And it's like proper starting to look like a little bit of a cardigan here. Got too much hair. Like that. So I'm just going to keep building that outwards. 
and then I have no idea how to do sleeves. I'll be learning that at some point. This is something that I'm hoping to finish in the next knitting vlog. And then I'll take you downstairs because I've got another project on the go. I've got so many things on the go at the moment, it's actually quite bad. I thought I wouldn't be that person who started another project until I'd already finished one, but I've just got too excited for all of the ones that I'm working on. So I've got like three on the go at the moment, which is quite bad. So the next thing I'm making is also from A Honey Knits. I will leave a link to these patterns down below, by the way. It is the Frankie sweater by A Honey Knits. Got to say as well, looking at the patterns, I was very, very scared and nervous about these because there were some phrases and like asterisks in the patterns that I didn't really understand. Once you research it, it does make sense. This is it so far. So I'm using the Drops Polaris Wool in 01, which is like a creamy white. And yeah, this is done, this is a knit slightly different to the cardigan, which is knit all together. This is gonna be seamed up. So this is currently the back panel. And I've got to say, it's so fun working with a chunky, like a chunky yarn. It just means that it goes so much quicker. Like I, I've only done this for like an hour or two and I've already got that far. Um, I am a little bit worried that this is going to be super oversized. I think I'm doing the size small, but if this is just the back panel, that's quite big. I guess if that's like doubled, yeah, it's going to be baggy, but in a nice way. I'm really excited to crack on with this. And as you can see, I need to go and dig out another ball for this because... I'm very near the end of that. Then I have no idea how long either of those is gonna projects is gonna take me. But I also have this going on in the background, and this is something I mentioned that I was making in my first knitting vlog, which I'll link down below. But this is one that I am not like I haven't picked up in a few weeks just because oh my god, it's um it's called Nancy's Vest by Carol Sunday. It was one of the first patterns I bought. Here is what it looks like. And I absolutely love it. And it said on the pattern info that it was good for beginners. But oh my god, these instructions are not beginner friendly in the slightest. But firstly, it wanted me to do a tubular bind on, which I watched so many videos of and hadn't didn't have the patience to do or learn. So I just like did a normal cast on. I know it isn't what the pattern called for but I was just too excited to like kind of get going but this pattern is like worked all together in one piece and so that means this is like 300 stitches on this needle. I timed it and it takes half an hour to do one row which is why I haven't picked it up in ages because I was just like this is gonna take a while <laughs> like this is gonna take me ages. But yeah, that is also something I'm doing. And I bought this yarn from literally a yarn store near me. It's not the nut, it, I mean, it's very soft. I think it's like a DK material in a nice gray color. It's soft, but I'm not sure what it's gonna feel like on, whether it will be scratchy. But yeah, this is another project that I have got on the go. So that is everything that I am gonna be making and trying to finish in the next knitting vlog. Apart from this, this will be like a year long project, I imagine. But I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd love if you could stay tuned for the next in the series. And I hope this has inspired some of you to pick up knitting needles and give it a go because I've just been enjoying it so much. And as you can see, like learning something and learning a new skill that gives you something that you can wear, it's just the best feeling and I'm so 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 happy with this so yeah I'll see you guys soon